Most people don't know about the Atlantis is that the people were very advanced. They had uh, intuitive capabilities that oh, people were really up. Hello, this is Elvine with Cooking Can Be Fun. I have special guests today, Meryl Garrick and Emmett. Hello. Hi, I'm Emmett. Today we will be making Louisiana pecan pralines. Now, Eldine, I understand the weather has to be... Emmett, not yet. One thing I've heard, Eldine, is that the weather has to be very particular in order for them to turn out right. Yes, it has to be very dry outside. Normal on the barometer. Let's talk ingredients. Sugar, sugar, more sugar. And a little love. Let's get started, shall we? In a very large bowl, you'll place the four cups of light brown sugar. Add two cups of white sugar, which have already been measured. Now for cream of tartar, it's a very important one-eighth of a teaspoon. If you get too much, it won't get hard. Too little, it is sugary. Don't wing it on the cream of tartar. That's right. Two cups of half and half. Would you like to stir? I would love to. Yeah, okay. I'm waiting for you to have good. me do something here, sure. okay. This looks delicious already. Oh, it smells good, doesn't yes. it? Yes. This is the butter, the melted butter. At this point, we're ready to add it to the pot. The pot should be heavy and thick, and you take some butter and you grease all the sides up to the very top. <laughs> so, this looks it. dangerous. Oh, okay, well, we don't off. want it to hit the sides of the pot, so we want to be very particular about that narrow. Right. At this point, we will put the lid on. What's happening? The pot is on the fire. You're not stirring it. It's just sitting there. Yes. Why? We have the pot with the lid on. We have a medium to medium low flame. And we let this stay here for 10 minutes and you don't peek, you don't open it, you don't stir it, you don't do anything. <laughs> Boring. All right. It has been 10 minutes that our lid has been on. You want to remove the Yes, lid? I do. Okay. A Let's moment of happening. truth. Okay, right. it's just melted the sugar. Stir it. And how it looks from the very beginning, nothing has happened yet. This has to cook between one hour and one fourth as a rule. Let it simmer. We will put a candy thermometer. Over the next hour, we're going to gradually get the temperature up That's to right. 240. That's right, Meryl. And this looks pretty good, right? Is we're, this good we're, enough? We're probably about halfway through there. If you'll notice now, it's sort of a caramel color. And uh, we have the thermometer there. It's on 231. Point zero. It's not it's just, done yet. Oh no, it's not done yet. Okay. You don't stir it very often, but every now and then you need to, and we always use a clean spoon each time. It now is at 234.6. So we're going to clean up the candy residue. Yes. We do that by taking a cheesecloth covered spoon, and I've moistened the cheesecloth and then squeezed out the excess. This doesn't look very easy. You just want to get an improvement over what was. See how the, the consistency is, is much thicker now, but it's still not ready. Getting very close. Okay, we're rolling. It's 240.2, and I think it's going to be perfect this time, but, so let's look at it. Yes, I would say this is a softball stage, but I will, you can also use your fingers and form a soft boil. We are now going to transfer it to a bowl, and this is important. We will pour it into a bowl, Pyrex bowl, and we pour it out, but you never scrape the bottle, bottom of the pot. You just let it drain out. The next thing we'll do is add four teaspoons of vanilla into this bowl, and we do not stir it. We just add the vanilla. Four. We let it sit 30 minutes to an hour. Okay, Eldine, what happens now? This is some freezer paper. You want the shiny side up. Real butter. I'm going to butter this paper. You might just have to make sweeps like this. To avoid sticking, you must be sure you do every square inch. Grease it up. The, from one side to the other. It's been about 30 minutes. Now what? 
now we touch the outside of the bowl and it's comfortable. Yes, it's not and too we, hot. We have to wait for it to cool some for the candy to be smooth. The gist is we have to let it cool without agitating it, otherwise it'll get lumpy. Don't yes. do that. Sugary. Okay, now we're going to add the pecans. You want to watch that happen? Let's do it. Okay. First you just mix it. See how long we can beat it before it gets right. Now it's, the, by looking at it, it's shiny now. Now we want it to be a little dull, but not too dull. If you put it out too soon, it will never get hard. It's almost ready to spread. So it's getting hard fast. Yes, we have to move, move very quickly now. And you try not to make them too large. People have a tendency to make them too large. It's a nice shape. Not like a weird splat yes. kind of situation. But they'll still taste good even so. Alright. And when you get near the end, sometimes you need to add a few more nuts just to, I'll just so the last ones will have some pecans in it. So when will these be ready to eat? In about Elena. 10 minutes, as soon as they cool. Ooh, that's pretty soon. They will soon. be ready, yes. After a long process, we have our Louisiana pralines. Let's have a to Emmett! You can't just walk in here after we've been working all day and eat the pralines without even helping with them. They should taste very creamy. They look like they're very creamy. Some people like the little flat pralines, but these are creamy and they're usually better. I always like to store my pralines in a tin container because that keeps them fresh longer. Tip to the wise. Well, Aldi, it's been a real pleasure cooking with you, and I think we found that cooking can be fun, although sometimes a little bit long and boring, but mostly fun and especially delicious. Be sure to subscribe to our channel, Cooking Can Be Fun, with Aldine. Bye. Goodbye, everybody. Got some time for a blue star or anything I'm